<clears throat> so I wanted to have a talk about uh, a thing that's happened to me more than a couple times. And um, I'm not going to say uh, I have a little dick, but uh, I definitely don't have a dick that's uh, close to the size it is when it's erect. I piss in between the rim and the seat. Does that make sense? No. I pin. Let me try this again. Focus here. I piss in between my seat and the fucking toilet itself. The base. That's what it is. So, yeah. I wanted to say something funny like, uh, you know, it's unionized, but I've never heard this from anybody else. So this is my first call to the world. If you've ever uh, pissed in between the rim and the base, the seat and the base of a toilet because your dick is at that height or it's that small, uh, let me know. I got, I got a paper towel sitting on a bunch of piss just now. I just... This one happened, reporting. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, making a post here. I just tried to make a, uh, what's it called? A Lola, Doña Lola, which is a character that my grandmother made from materials. Most, yeah, I think most of the materials, the materials I bought to make my own. Saw a character who is uh, Dingo and Jefe. Um, and I wasn't able to understand myself. It was really weird. Uh, that does happen from time to time. So, but I, I guess I had been on a streak. So I let, I let that, that one go. Uh... But this whole uh, puppetry thing, uh, or sock puppetry, uh, not a lot of moving parts or what have you. Um, you know, at what point do you start uh, kind of refreshing the idea that it's uh, not, not real? You know, I don't know. <laughs> How many viewers I really have, but I have a girl who's a young girl. I think she's like eight, uh, and uh, I don't think she thinks it's a real person. Of course, uh, at least I don't think so. But um, I know when I watch cartoons and even movies uh, there'll be like a fluctuation of like why am I watching something that is completely made up and uh, fluctuates so you know it's an expression of our mind our group mind we have to study it blah 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 you know but um, I guess what's shocking in my mind is to take that truth that it is just my hand or um, in places that they might be kind of waiting or cashing in or uh, reserving their happiness so I don't know, maybe this stuff is done all the time. Um, I think like big reveals, um, an introduction of a character that is very popular um, into, a, into a sketch, like in sketch comedy when somebody walks in and everyone knows who he is. It kind of just blows the cover of this small little lie. Oh, here comes Iron Man. And it's just your brain kind of like you know, making sense. But it's interesting. So, uh, Mel Brooks is also kind of a king in that respect. 
of like aside to the viewer, to the audience. Uh, I guess like white flags. To just say, yes, yes. Uh, this is bullshit, just so you know. So, anyways, I'm at five minutes. Damn, five minutes. Talked about my little dick pissing me between the rim and the base of a toilet. I talked about, I'm starting to smell this shit. Hey, man. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are also a victim of a small dick, or perhaps uh, a victim of having a very fat seat to sit on, and they would put the crease, the opening down there, and your long dick pisses in between that. If you got one of those, that probably don't exist, but you never know. I'm leaving it open. I don't want to discriminate. I, I'm going to rephrase that. If you got a long dick, or a small dick, and you're pissing in between the seat and the base of your toilet, give me a comment, man. Let's get together.